started my walk about today and walked straight into this koala uh, down quite low, uh, probably trying to get some coolness from the breeze. Uh, it's very, very hot today. Large paw hanging down there, looking through some spider webs. So maybe we'll try and get around those for a little bit. So one of the things koalas do is they'll hug uh, a big branch uh, like this uh, because it's uh, a little bit cooler for them. Well, here's our second koala today and uh, not too sure what he's up to. Hanging in the breeze there, you can see it's a windy day, but gosh, it's really hot, so we're in low 30s today, and uh, the next few days we'll see us get up into the mid 30s. How gorgeous, eh? Really taking advantage of the, the shade and the, the breeze, no doubt. Somewhere in this massive tree, I could just make out the outlines of a koala through all that tangled mess. Ah, uh -huh, look at him. <laughs> very long way away and very hard to see, but gosh, he's very aware of me, that's for sure. And you can see the scent gland there of a male. Here's yet another koala that's very hard to see through the, um, the undergrowth, but there's no mistaking. That's one of our furry friends. This one's got quite a dark coat. Look at the size of those claws. Another big male. Here's one really taking advantage of the shade, wrapped around the, the branch and in the thick of the gum leaves, surviving the heat of the day the very best they can. Well, look at this beautiful koala. My, my sense is there may be a joey in behind uh, here. a long way up and uh, hard to tell but I just thought I saw a foot or something small on the other side of her head and there you have it a beautiful joey Well, I was almost going to call it a day because I've been absolutely mauled by mosquitoes and it just gets a bit too much after a while and just notice this koala and a very large joey uh, in front of her. 